That headline involving Vice President Biden and his youngest son discharged from the U.S. Navy after failing a drug test. But it's a little hard to believe that Burisma hired Hunter Biden to resolve their international disputes when he could not resolve his own dispute with Hertz rental car over leaving a pipe in the car. That is what we would call evidence. The habit, kind of a big deal. Hunter's smarter than all of us. Hunter's smarter than all of us. Right? Imagine, no, it's that sort of, you know, it's that mentality of like, no, meaning you don't know how you're going to get that next rock, but you're going to get it. You know, you're going to do whatever you can to get that next rock. It doesn't matter. You'll hustle for three days. Doesn't matter. So what we did was moronic. We were actually international business people before my father got involved in politics. That's actually what we did. And we gave all of that up to avoid the notion of impropriety. We walked away from all of that, hundreds of millions of dollars, just so no one could say there's something shady going on. Hunter did exactly the opposite. He had done nothing. And he said, you know what? I can sell access to the presidency. He called Hertz, which came to collect the damaged car and gave him a second rental. The Hertz rental officer told me he found a pipe in the car and on one of the consoles a line of white powder residue. Bo Biden's attorney general badge was on the dashboard. Hertz called the Prescott Police Department and officers filed a defense report listing items seized in the car, including a past plastic bag containing white powdery substance, a Secret Service business card, credit cards, and Hunter Biden's driver's license. That is what we would call evidence. The habit, kind of a big deal. Uh, now, I also, no, I understand. I understand addiction, and that's an issue. But I'd ask you this. You think if Donald Trump Jr. had that problem, they'd let me get away with it? If I had the little fling with the stripper and the, you know, trying to avoid child support for a few years, you think that would be an interview they'd be all over? And yet most of you have never even heard about it. That shows you what we are up against. That shows you the double standard. And I don't want to make light of anybody's substance abuse issues. I know the president's working real hard to solve those throughout the country, but it's a little hard to believe that Burisma hired Hunter Biden to resolve their international disputes when he could not resolve his own dispute with Hertz rental car over leading a pipe in the car. That headline involving Vice President Biden and his youngest son discharged from the U.S. Navy after failing a drug test, testing positive for the second son, Hunter Biden, the vice president bragged he completed the Biden military family, joining the Navy Reserves at 43, his father joking about the late decision. We have a lot of bad judgment in my family. My, my son, who's over 40, just joined the United States Navy, is about to be sworn in as an officer. But pride soon turned to disgrace. Hunter failing a drug test one month after receiving his commission, testing positive for and discharged less than honorably. He said he asked a homeless man in Pershing Square where he could buy Hunter said that the man took him to a nearby homeless encampment where a narrow passageway between tents, someone put a gun to his head before realizing that he was the buyer. He, refer he returned to buy more a few times that week. Again, not saying, you know, not casting any judgment on any challenges someone goes through in their personal life, but it is just hard to believe that this was the guy wandering through homeless encampments by that was worth $86,000 a month to Burisma Holding. When Hunter Biden and his father becomes vice president, he magically transforms himself into an international business person. Right? $1.5 billion from the Chinese. There was that $83,000 a month job. You know, job, no, no show, in the Ukraine, right? A language he doesn't speak and a business he knows nothing about. That's, I want that job. I, I, I do. I would like that job, but I have a feeling that the people in the media who have totally abdicated their position, their job description, they haven't looked at any of these things, they haven't looked at the shady dealings of Joe's brother, they haven't looked at his voting record.
This is why the minority hearing issue is so important, by the way. You, you wonder why Republicans are so angry that we didn't have a hearing to put on our own witnesses and own evidence. And you may wonder why, well, if they feel so good about their case, why did they block our ability to put in evidence? It's because we have the ability to show that Burisma is corrupt. We have the ability to show that Hunter Biden is corrupt. And that totally exculpates the, the president. Because there is no way in the United States of America that honestly pursuing actual corruption is an impeachable offense. That's why I offer the amendment and I encourage my colleagues to vote for it. Hunter, last year, receiving a special waiver to join the Navy after a prior incident with drugs as a younger man. Now saying only, it was the honor of my life to serve in the U.S. Navy. Vice President Joe Biden's son was discharged back from the Navy back in February after sources say he tested positive for Hunter Biden has released a statement admitting that he is embarrassed by his actions and that he respects the Navy's decision, but he is not specifically addressing why he was discharged. I have friends, pretty big investors in New York. They're like, hey, man, you know, you've bought and sold multi-billion dollar companies your whole life, your whole career. How long did it take you to get in China? Oh, nine years, 14 years. I go, what if I told you young Hunter Biden with no investing experience, basically, other than, you know, a well-connected last name. And I understand well-connected last names. You know, I, I, I'm, it's not, that irony is not lost on me. The difference is, I never did it from my father's taxpayer-funded office. All right, it, it's a little different. It's one thing when you do the, oh, I'm a humble public servant. Yeah, I'll take that 30 million a year. That's a little different. It's hard to complain, right? You know, it's like, <laughs> can't kind of have it both ways. And yet, that's what they've got. They've got the ability to have it both ways. One of Vice President Biden's sons is confirming tonight that he was discharged from the Navy Reserves for testing positive for Hunter Biden is a lawyer and a partner in an investment firm. He held the rank of ensign. He says he deeply regrets his actions and was proud to serve. There's been no comment from the vice president's office. Hunter Biden and Burisma, well, that's an interesting story. And I think just about every American knows there's something up with that. $86,000 a month, no experience, working for some foreign government while your dad's the vice president of the United States? Is there anyone who believes this is okay? I know we got a few of my Democrat colleagues maybe run for president or might run for president one day. Would you let your vice president have their son or daughter or family member out moonlighting for some foreign company? Maybe I'll use language familiar to the former vice president. Come on, man. This looks dirty as it is.